Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another video today. Um, as promised, I have a Sam's Club haul for you guys today. Um, Chris and I went, so Chris was off yesterday and today. If you watched my grocery haul yesterday, then you saw that. Uh, but we went to Sam's Club to pick up stuff for a big family dinner that we are doing this weekend. So um, we have my mom's birthday, my sister's birthday, and my, here come dogs, and my um, sister-in-law's birthday are in May. So we do a like, you know, big celebration or whatever. So we are hosting, so I went to get stuff for that. And then of course I just picked up some other stuff that I needed, stuff that I saw and decided to try, random stuff. I have a several actually newer products that I've never purchased before to share with you in this haul. We picked up a lot of different type of things that we don't usually get. That's probably because Chris was with me and he doesn't usually get to go. And so he picked up some stuff that he wanted to try. So without further ado, these dogs are going crazy. Chris just let my two sister's two dogs out of their crates. And so they're all running around. I'm sure you can hear their little paws on the floor, but let me go ahead, turn you around and show you what I picked up today. I spent $417. And as always, I will pop prices up on the screen so you guys can see how much everything costs. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Here's Nala. <laughs> Nala, get him. You being Piper today, Piper's still in her crate. Okay, so the first thing that I picked up are these Taylor Farms Romaine um, hearts. So we are actually doing a taco bar is the uh, theme, I guess, for Saturday's dinner. So we picked up a lot, a lot of stuff for a taco bar. So we definitely needed some lettuce for that. So I got this big six pack of romaine hearts. Um, grapes were the only fruit that I didn't get at the grocery store this week. So I picked these ones up. This isn't the, I usually like the, uh, autumn crisp ones or the, I think that's what they're called. Um, but they didn't have those this time. So I went with these green grapes instead, green peppers for the taco bar. I'm just going to get an onion or two at the grocery store. Um, I didn't think that we needed an entire huge bag of onions. So, um, that will pick up, but I did go ahead and get the green peppers. Cause we, I probably will like saute all of those. This is a new meal that I saw. I've never seen this one before at our Sam's club in the fresh meal section. So this is the hatch chili chicken enchiladas. Um, and I thought we would give these a shot. They looked really good. And I noticed that hatch chili was a theme, lots and lots of hatch chili flavored things. I don't know if it's just um, the, a new flavor for this summer or not, but like seriously all over the store, all kinds of hatch chili things, even hatch chili cheese, um, they had. So thought that was interesting, but this one was $11 and nine cents. So we will give that a go, um, within the next couple of weeks, I'll probably just throw it in the freezer. We needed trash bags. And this is the first time that at our Sam's club, I've seen them fresh scented. The ones, the members mark power flex ones that we always get are non- scented or unscented. So I thought that was interesting. We're going to give this fresh, clean scent one a try. Now we're going to be doing chicken tacos and uh, just beef tacos. So I got a big thing of chicken breast. I'll probably just throw these in the crock pot with a bunch of taco seasoning and then shred it up with my um, shredder attachment on my mixer. So that'll be super easy. So this was 1848 for... 6.2 pounds of chicken. And then for the ground beef, I just picked up the organic one that I always get. This is always cheaper than even like the big packaged ones at my Sam's Club. It was $14.94 for three pounds. I probably will cook all three pounds on Saturday. And then this is something that I just got for us. Um, we like andouille sausage and I have not seen this one at Sam's club in a while. It has been a minute since I've seen this. So I went ahead and picked this up just to throw in the freezer, um, for meals for us. We usually use that when I make jambalaya. Um, Chris picked these up. So these are bacon wrapped jalapeno poppers. Does that one have mold on it? No, I think it's just cheese. <laughs> anyway, um, so we are going to have these Saturday. I'm just going to make these as a little um, appetizer. I'll probably throw them on. You can do them in the oven, obviously, but I'll probably throw them on my skillet, um, like blacktop cooker, and get the bacon nice and cooked. But anyways, this will be for Saturday, and I just opened them and didn't even mean to. Or was that already done? Interesting. I don't know. I'll have to investigate that. 
I saw this and thought that Bryson and Finley would like it. So this is the Butcher Cut Bacon. It's by Hempler's, which I've never heard of this brand before. Uh, but it says pork raised with no growth promoting antibiotics uh, and all that. So we're going to give this a shot. It's just a, a thicker cut, essentially, bacon. But Finley and uh, Bryson really like bacon. So I bought that for them. These are fun. So I've never seen this variety of cookies before. Kylie has her soccer party this evening um, for the end of the year soccer thing. So we are taking um, chips to that, which I bought also, but I saw these cookies and couldn't resist. So you get birthday cake, strawberries and cream, lemon shortbread, orange dreamsicle, and cotton candy. So this would be super fun for, you know, a bunch of second graders. It was 1998 and all the kids and parents and siblings and all that are coming tonight as well so i'm sure these will get eaten for the taco bar i picked up some cheese well several different types of cheese so bryson really likes sam's club's nacho cheese sauce uh so he asked for that so i obviously realized that we're not going to eat all of that in a day at one thing but he will have it to to eat Throughout the summer, hopefully, um, we will definitely eat that. It's nacho cheese. Who's not going to eat nacho cheese? And then I picked up this cantina-style salsa. We've never tried this one before, uh, but it was like $4, I believe. So, oh, it has hatch chilies in it, honey. All the hatch chilies. Um, so that'll be for Saturday. And then I got some of the El Terrifico white cheddar, or white cheese dip, sorry, that we always have to get for the nacho bar as well. And then I went ahead and picked up a thing of yellow rice to make Saturday. I We have some of this, but I didn't wanna use all of our rice and then us not have any. So I'll probably just use um, the rest of the one that we already have and then put this one back in our pantry. I saw these freeze dried strawberries and Finley has been obsessed with freeze dried strawberries lately. Um, like so much so that I've been buying several bags of those ones from Aldi, like every time I go. Um, so we saw these, I'm going to pre-portion these into baggies so that she, cause if I gave her this bag, she would eat the whole bag in one sitting. And that's not, that's not great. Is there a sugar? Oh, no, no, there is sugar, but no added sugars. Um, oh, it literally says it right there. So yeah, these, I believe are like seven ninety eight, but that's not a bad price for freeze dried strawberries. They're typically pretty um, on, on the pricier side, I would say. So I got two of these for her flour tortillas for the nacho bar. I believe there was 40 of these in the package. We ran out of Tums the other night and we just decided to pick these up. I believe this was $10 for this huge, like twin pack of them. So there's 265 Tums in each one. So that should definitely last us for a while. We won't need Tums for, for a while. And then uh, same thing with dishwasher tabs. I don't think I've bought dishwasher tabs in like close to a year it's been. So I finally ran out, so we needed these. So I picked up the Members Mark 1 because they were a little bit cheaper than the um, like Cascade ones. And I actually like these ones better. And I like this tub better um, than the Cascade one as well to store them in. Downy Unstoppables. This was something that I did not purchase in my haul in April because at the end of April, because I didn't think we needed it. And we definitely did. We are out of them completely. So I'm just going to start purchasing one of these every month. I'll probably purchase one again when we go for our big May haul as well, where we get like our real food. Um, so yeah, pick that up. We got these paper plates for the nacho thing on Saturday. We figured these bigger plates could hold a lot more if people were having like black beans or rice or nachos or whatever they were having. I believe these were $10 for 50. Yeah, 50 plates. So not a bad deal. And whatever we don't use, I believe there should be about 15 people coming um, between all of my family and whatever we don't use, then we will just use over the summer, of course. We got a couple soda options for Saturday. So we tried to pick things that we knew that either Bryson or, you know, friends of Bryson or Kylie or whoever will drink over the summer if we don't drink at all. So we got a thing of Mountain Dew. I believe this was like 15 bucks for 36 cans, um, which I guess is not a terrible deal. And then we also got a thing of um, Coke, which was about the same price, 15 for 35 cans. So this will be the soda um, for Saturday. We needed new pillows, me and Chris, and we love, or I like, I don't know, do you like these ones? Yeah. I don't know, but I like these Member Mark Hotel, the Premier Collection one, and um, I hadn't bought any in probably close to a year, and I could tell that my pillow was starting to just get flat, and my back was starting to hurt, so I went ahead and picked these up while I was there. Um, 
I guess I will use both of them if Chris doesn't want one. I picked up the huge box of tortilla chips for this weekend because my thought process was we have that huge thing of cheese now. Um, and so we, I think this comes in two bags. Yeah. So two, three pound bags of chips. So we'll probably have one Saturday and then the other one I will just store out in the outdoor pantry until it gets opened and, um, the kids can eat on it with cheese over the summer. I figured it, it's a tortilla chip. It'll get eaten. It didn't make sense to buy multiple bags of another one and not just get the six pound box because, you know, we would have spent more to get six pounds. So got that. These chips are the ones that I'm taking tonight for um, Kylie's party. This was the only one that I thought that everybody would like. We were trying to find one that had the most Doritos in it because kids always go for the Doritos. So we got the one that had the most options of Doritos and hopefully we don't end up with a bunch of bags of Fritos because that's probably, we'll have Fritos and Lay's. That's my call that when we, when we come home tonight. So got that coming around this way. We have a few more things here. So I got these dental treats for the dogs. Chris had given them their last two the other day. We did get some juice boxes. These are for Saturday. Um, so you got 10, oh, I'm sorry, 20 fruit punch, 10 strawberry kiwi, and 10 Pacific Kohler. Um, so these will be for the younger kids who don't drink soda. And then we needed several like body care items. So I needed deodorant. I've never tried these, uh, but hopefully they're good. So this is the Dove Advanced Care 48 hour protection and smooth underarms. Uh, so this is the cucumber one, I'm assuming. Cool essentials, go fresh. I'm assuming it's cucumber. Um, so that I believe was like $15 for four, oopsie daisies, for four of them. And then Chris also needed, oh no, wait, you got body wash. So Chris and Bryson needed body wash. And he picked this Dove Men's Care, the extra fresh one. Pretty much he just picked whichever one was cheapest that he thought worked. He likes good body wash, but not expensive good body wash. <laughs> if I buy super cheap body wash, he says it doesn't work. And then I saw this for me and the girls and thought that it would be fun for the summer. So you got a three pack of different Dove ones. So you got the refreshing one, which will match my deodorant. Uh, the glowing one, which is mango and almond butter, and then lavender and chamomile one. So you got three different ones. I believe this one was like $15 as well. And I think I showed everything. I kind of went in a weird order today, but I do think that I showed everything. Okay, that is the Sam's Club haul for today. I will have another one in a couple of weeks where I go and get like our real stuff. And Bryson says that he is gonna go with me. He told us last night that he was gonna go with us or with me. He only wants me to take him. None of the other kids are allowed to go. That's what he said. And he's gonna get himself a pallet, a push pallet. And he's gonna fill it up with all the stuff he needs for the summer. Push cart. And fill it up with everything he needs <laughs> for the whole summer. Chris said he's going to get tired of pushing it and give up. <laughs> yeah, he's going to stop putting stuff on there when it gets too heavy. I, I just think it's funny. He's like, he's just so like witty like that. He's like, I'm going to get my own cart and I'm going to fill everything I need for the whole summer I'm going to get. So anyway, that haul will be coming in a couple of weeks. Should be a fun one. Um, and I will see you guys on Friday for my one year tummy tuck update. It's actually a year today since I had my surgery. I was probably just getting out of surgery at this point a year ago, which is pretty insane. So Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you on Friday and I hope you have a great Wednesday and Thursday. Bye guys.